literally our neighbors. And, uh, yeah. I'm here for it. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday week. Yeah. 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 They're walking advertisements for it. Anyway. So, I'm a... Oh, I don't know who anyone is, actually. Okay, so Vivi's the Lucario. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Uh, which would then imply, and, and it also makes sense that uh, Zane is so playing Sora. I saw him playing. I saw them playing that, uh, playing the character a ton. Starfy, well, Moth would be the K rule. So then Moth Soul is K rule, and Mini then would process elimination being the Wolf. All right. Got to make sure I had the colors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I, yeah, changing the. <laughs> yeah. Right. We finally have like a like a, an up to date like doubles overlay and it like match I made it that matches the colors of the teams. It's the little things. Yes. <laughs> You're gonna have Devin on commentary. I'm, uh, I'm gonna gush about my my stuff, my stream stuff. Anyway, Best so in business. <laughs> we have uh, Vivi as Lucario and Zane as uh, Sora. Sora seems like they could actually be a pretty interesting doubles character just because of like. They, they can, like, loop you for so long that it's just, like, I'm kind of holding on to them. So you either jail your – you jail one of the uh, one of the doubles partners so that the other person can do a 1v1, or you just 2v1 this guy into, like, this – into, like, a setup because you have time for it. Yeah, I I dig that kind of uh, flow with doubles characters as, oh, he got clipped by the first hit of Aerial Sweep, which uh, led to the demise of Mini. Plus, I mean, Lucario has been a classic doubles character, just as as the rocket launcher behind, waiting to kill you. Especially right now at 133, that's a lot of aura. Oh, I today I learned that the blunderbuss, it, like it's a physical, it you become the projectile. It can hit your teammates. Neat. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I mean that makes sense. Like when even like when you when someone gets thrown, like when you're in knockback, you actually do have a hitbox. You just never see it in singles. Yeah, it just I don't know. I, I guess I didn't like, really uh, really truly expect it. Yeah, it, yeah, that's definitely not a mechanic of just blunderbuss. That's just a smash thing. When right. you get knocked really fast, you'll you'll have a hitbox on you. Right. Alright, I gotta make a thumbnail for this now. It's really nice to see that Mini and Moth Salt, like, both of them are kind of approaching this with the same dynamic. While Vivi and Zane have been pretty good at finding uh, extensions off of each other, uh, Mini and Moth Salt are just playing the stage control game, which is vital in so many facets, as Zane uh, unfortunately dropping his stock to a very, attempted very deep edge guard. Late counter, not going to save him. The fun dog is not going to work, but the VV catches uh, catches Mothsaw on the other side. Wow, these combos from Zane. I guess that's the power the power of their hitbox, right? They've been practicing with that for a while and making the most out of it, trying to get these loops going. And Mini Mini ends up dropping, trying to save their teammate. That is unfortunate. And here comes Zane Cone trying to close out that edge guard with the back air. We go deep again. No, missing the counter. The counter attack. I think that's a ridiculously good counter as Vivi trying to close out with only a enough aura to say the least. Oh, you get a little bit because you have them. You lose a little bit because you have more stocks, but still, 99 is plenty. Man, that's so good. Holy, I need to practice that. Nair one two up air. That's so clean. I clipped it so you can actually tell me what the hell is going on. Great. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it still is like practical application in singles too back throw a little bit too low yeah you're trying to tech chase with Lucario's back throw not really they're not going to pop up too high alright mini Look, I mean it's the power of just raw speed in any situation like wolf kind of going crazy and mini holding on a little bit too high and the grab it oh, very nice very nice a classic, not trying to get too fancy. I'm not sure which of Sora's... Sora's forward throw is actually probably decent in doubles. It sends at a pretty, like, sustained angle. Let me know which clip it is, because I don't know what I... It's so hard to clip things in doubles. So um, it's probably not it is probably Moth this. dying on his last dock. Okay, so it's probably this then. Moth KOing on his last. 
Yeah. One. So Nair one into fast fall Nair two. Into up air. Into up air. That's interesting. Sora's air. That's your one. Yeah. No. Go for it. So like this right here. Not only is Sora's up air. Here, let's play it at 30 FPS. Go on. Please. Press play. I did. Oh. I, oh right. I, so it, that was off of. <laughs> It was off of Rising Nair that time. He dash, uh, They dashed in, rose with Nair, and then fast fell Nair two, uh, mm -hmm. to so you didn't so they didn't complete the Rekka. But being able to just do that off of any instance, we got a nice little free frame. Being able to do that off of not only a large amount of instances because of how floaty Sora is, but also being able to do that out of shield makes it so dominant as a potential kill confirm off of block, which is potentially pretty good. Assuming, of course, your opponent has to touch your shield with something that you can hit them with Nair with, which, you know, spacing is always going to be king. But still, I... Long story short, I think Sora has a lot of just continued potential to be a, to develop from where he is now to even higher on tier lists. I think Sora's really good. Also, Yoshi, holy moly! Just realized that uh, Mini went for a character switch, and it's working out thus far. Yet Zane is making themselves super hard to hit. Gets a back throw on K. Rule. Finds that parry on Yoshi Nair. And man, Zane making the most out of just all of these interactions back and forth. And when you always have Vivi in the back with it, uh, with this Lucario playing super strong. And oh no! I guess that was worth it though. The up air saved from the berry, which I believe up to should have killed. Yeah, the aerial sweep's not going to close out. Using Lucario's Nair to break through um, Mini. Can't Nair out of shield against Lucario's Nair as it is minus two, but that dash attack will close in. And another one as Moth closes out across the stage. Just run headlong and find a dash attack. Uh-oh. We're in a precarious predicament to say the least. Mini trying to scrap their way back in, but they're now they're both getting absorbed and the collision. That would have been a great DI cross-up. Alas, Moth was able to react in time. As Mini is the oh, go, Mini is the one with his with their uh, first stock intact. Yet the stocks are even as Moth is in, drops yet again. But I guess this is kind of how you draw it up. Like you're expecting with a team of two heavyweights, you're expecting one to hold on to a lot of stocks, while the other one's gonna get bullied. And Yoshi's already so hard to hit, but that back air comes in. Prime Punish. Comes down with Nair anyway, trying to combo off of their teammates. Yoshi's being a stage like that, that you can start setting up on platforms too, which is a lot more beneficial. Oh, oh, oh. There he goes. Yeah, these Nair too fast. Okay. Looking mighty clean from Zane. Just dominating so much space. And then the drop as well. But that up smash out of shield. Even uh, actually taking the lead on stocks here for the yellow team. Let's see if it can make a difference. That F smash is a little bit errant. Moth trying to hold on as much as possible. Because while the stocks are in uh, yellow team's favor, one drop means that you have to either take one or leave with your teammate at 173. And that will do it. Moth choosing to take. All right, that was... It's an interesting one, but given how Mini was able to survive for so long, you are you can help hope that they make a difference in this game, but great DI down on Zane's part and into the falling up air as well. This is going to get out of hand quickly as a K rule. Interesting combo there, trying to bounce him back with Nair. This top platform is going to be Moth's domain for a little bit. How, does, how do they get off? All right. Yeah. Sora seems like such a good like character to just keep harassing. And it just like helps set up your uh, your teammate to just you know, get into position. Whatever they need to do. Oh my god, he dodged. Okay. Alright. He died. Oh, I guess top platform, but like holy moly, I did not expect him to die. <laughs> to fall to that. That's a air one. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, combos. Look at these combos. You're literally doing Kingdom Hearts stuff. Yeah, he's, yeah. 
he is, isn't he? <laughs> Oops. Yeah, because it's the... Um, at least when you don't have, like, er early Kingdom Hearts 2 strats. For, at, least, at least for, for speedruns, is you end up actually looping uh, aerial combo 1-2 into 1-2-3, and that usually kills or pushes most shadows to uh, most of the Heartless and, like, kills them early on. And then, and Sakurai saw that and said, oh, great, <laughs> let's do that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Square. Square? Square. Square. 